up guys? We're back at it here, doing a little road trip action. Got the Bentley with me. Headed down to the Mid-Ohio race track, and we're gonna go see the IMSA Acura Sports Car Challenge this weekend. Uh, it's kind of a last minute trip, but I was just itching to get out of the house. It's been a long freaking year. I uh, didn't really done much other than to go get the Corvette the last time we were out on a long road trip. Uh, I got a couple of buddies that are coming down tomorrow to check it out as well with me, although they think they're going to just hotel it up. I grabbed a campsite because I have the dog with me and hotels and dogs and that kind of thing. So made it a little easier. I've actually got just a light load out in the back here and I actually built a little bed to stick in the back seat. So we're just going to sleep in the truck, uh, pitch it easy up here, drill some stuff out on the skillet and uh, just have a casual weekend of it. So. Stick around, I will show you some cool IMSA stuff, hopefully, uh, coming up here. Alright, we are here. We have parked right through the gate, basically. I mean, like, just got in the gate. Some RVs on that side of the fence, and then this is all tent camping, which is still pretty sparse because we're here early on Friday. Come on, bud, stay here. Come on. So here's our setup, just an easy up, and I'll give you a little tour. Got the fire pit, because I think it's gonna be a little cooler later on. We got the requisite flaming hot snacks, coffee for tomorrow morning, just in case there's a hangover. Some buns, because all we're eating is hamburgers. Uh, we got the old Blackstone all fired up here. Well, not yet, but she will be in a little bit. And then luxury living right here. Let me tell you what, this is a uh, cot that I built yesterday night. Just slides in in front of the seat. Throw a yoga mat or something under there, closed cell foam mat, and just covered it up real good. I think it'll work out all right. It's gonna be a little bit toasty until it cools off here later this evening, but this weekend looks perfect for doing this kind of truck camping, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, the real VIP's got these RVs parked right along the track, I guess. Aside from uh, getting the site right at the front, which is probably loud, but what the hell, we're at the race track, you get to watch all the cool stuff come in. <laughs> Check this guy out. <laughs> An old fucking UPS truck with a, with a race car behind it. That's sweet. <laughs> left in the truck yesterday night in our makeshift bunk here we didn't do too bad it got a little bit chilly probably down to about 45 degrees it's definitely not long enough for comfortable sleep i'll put that out there it's five feet across my feet were uh <laughs> cramped at best yeah so i think we're gonna get up here and see how yeah, it looks outside. Somebody's already got an engine going. It's about 7.30, I think, now. 7.10, somebody's had a race engine going already. So, welcome to racing. What do you think, buddy? Yeah. Are you laying on top of me? Yeah, you laying on top of me? <laughs> All right, do a little breakfast before we walk over to the track, start doing some spectating. Got some ash brown and bacon on, you know, classic. Tiny little orange juice, jet boil, made myself some coffee. The freeze dried kind, so it tastes kind of like shit, but we're at turn two kind of at the back of the uh, track here. Well, it's the entry to the track, but it kind of feels like the back since the stands are way up front there. 
Um, and you can hear the car's already running. You can see him just peeking around the hill there. We're gonna get a better view on him in a little bit, but we're gonna eat some breakfast here. second day of the books. Racing was great, weather was great, uh, had a great time. Uh, rendezvous with George and uh, Jason for a little bit, that was a good time. Uh, I got to ride back in the uh, Corvette to the campsite, which was hilarious, we just sat in the hatch. Uh, that got some funny looks while we, me and the dog were back there, but uh, we're gonna go back and I think like campfire, grab a beer, uh, just mellow out for the rest of the evening. Uh, and then there's just one more day of big racing tomorrow. There's two good events that we're gonna check out and then we'll probably be out of here around four o'clock, so I guess. Day three. Got the bed situation figured out, so I moved that seat up. I just motored it all the way up as far as it would go. It gave me enough room to get full extension on my legs, which helped a lot with sleep. Also gave old Bentley here a little bit more room to sleep in that corner. So it ended up working out pretty good. Uh, the whole hot shot bunk, if you were, uh, I'd do it again. It's super light camping uh, between the easy up and just a few things that you need to bring along. So we're getting breakfast going here. Got the easy up torn down already. Uh, we're gonna pack most of it up, I think, and then we might move closer up because it's about a mile and a half to walk back to the campsite after <laughs> to the race every time. So everybody's kind of slowly putting things back together here. <laughs> 